Hello everybody, I'm just giving you guys an opportunity to see some of the um, stuff that's playing around these days and uh, one of those things is how do you take a server and transform it, granted it's old like a Xeon 5100 series platform, in this case this is an HP DL380 and or 385 series platforms uh, one being Intel, one being AMD, how do you take this fairly well designed system and take it four levels higher. Very important detail. First thing you have to have is let's say for instance you get a Gen 5 DL385 uh, or something like that. 385s are great chassis designs. They do the functionalities you want. They've got lots of capacity as you can see inside there. And uh, here we'll give it some extra light. And as you can see, the functionality of the motherboard is extremely versatile including the backup power sources for the RAID controllers, the tight cabling structures for you know, RAID, uh, supporting your disks, and so on and so on. So, the goal here is to remove the motherboard of this particular chassis, and in doing so, transforming this Gen 5 DL, uh, which is not a blade, it's an actual server, and this is what it looks like on the front, as you all have all recognized. And it is right there. You can see the class of processor. It's a DL380 Gen 5. And we're transforming this platform into a more like a Gen 7. And it's not difficult to do, but you do have to do a certain procedure. One thing is you want to pay attention to the guidelines specified by the um, entry and exit way platforms. You also need the specialized hex bit which is important because they don't use standard screwdrivers or Phillips screwdrivers. Though you could, if you look at this one here, you could use a certain standard flathead screwdriver to loosen that. Recommend the torque instead. Follow the guidelines which are being given here and this will basically allow you to free up your chassis to get you to a point where you need to be. So the next video slide, or let's say part two of this, will be um, showing you the baseboard without the peripheral interfaces, the power supplies, and so on, as those will all be removed and temporarily staged over on the other side. Remember one last detail before you begin, and that is make sure that you apply grounding to the area you're working with to discharge any plastic generated static electricity. Plastic is the key because there is plastic on stuff that you can see here and um, you want to make sure you're dissipating all that static discharge so you don't run the risk of, as you can see right here very clearly, of blowing out these key components with static discharges. Easiest way to do that is for a period of time just plug in the power cord uh, in an inactive state and the ground will take care of its role uh, but that can only go for so long. Uh, once you know you dissipate, remove the power cord before you start removing components or you could have a different problem. So you're just wanting to discharge, make sure you're in the clear, and that allows you to work on the platform itself.